that you have to do is take some fresh water in a pressure cooker and don't take too much of water because the vegetables already leave some water and now we'll be adding two potatoes roughly chopped some cauliflower roughly chopped one whole medium sized carrot roughly chopped and lastly one tablespoon of salt and remember you have to keep it on high flame for the first whistle then lower the flame and let it cook for two more whistles now while our vegetables are been cooking we'll be chopping up rest of our vegetables the first thing that i have taken is two medium sized onion now here i'm using an electrical hand blender because we need all our vegetables to be really really fine because when we make pav bhaji we have to make sure that everything is nice fine and mashed up and if you do not have a hand blender like this you can chop up the vegetables really fine and while you're cooking it and making the bhaji you can use a potato masher and mash all the sabji together so that it becomes really nice and fine Now I'll be blending 3 medium sized tomatoes. And lastly, one big capsicum. When the vegetables are nicely cooked, do not throw the water. Take out the excess water, and we are going to be using it later on while preparing our bhaji. And now we have to smash each and everything really, really fine, just like this. And you can see how fine it is gone, and this is perfect for making a bhaji. Now the very first thing that you have to do is heat up your vessel and add some butter into it. Now when the butter is properly melted the very first thing that you have to add is the onions and now we are going to be adding some salt into it so that it cooks a bit faster and there is already butter inside this so be careful with the salt and now we'll mix everything together and let it cook till it is nice and golden brown just like this and now we'll be adding half a teaspoon of coriander powder Half a teaspoon of cumin powder, one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder, one tablespoon of chili powder. If you want, you can add some more according to your preference. Half a teaspoon of garam masala. Now remember I have told you earlier to remove some of the excess water from the boiled vegetables now we'll be using that same water to cook our dry spices mix everything together nicely and let the dry spices cook on low flame now our masalas are properly cooked you can see that the masala has started leaving the butter You can see it's not sticking that means it is perfectly done now we'll be adding the vegetables inside that is tomato and capsicum Now we'll be adding some green peas inside and we'll mix it all together one last time The best thing about this bhaji is that the more you let it cook in the butter the tastier it will be. So don't worry and let this cook as long as you can. Now it's been a while since our vegetables are cooking and now we'll be adding our final ingredients and that is freshly chopped coriander leaves, some kasuri methi, just crush it in your hands so that all the stems get removed out of it. And now the last and the most important ingredient that is 2 teaspoons of pav bhaji masala. Now mix everything well and let this cook for near about 5 minutes. 
It's been 5 minutes and this is the time for our last procedure and that is to add all the boiled vegetables into this masala. Now mix everything well and then you can taste your sabzi to check the salt because there is a lot of butter into the sabzi. It can already be salty but if you find that the salt is less you can add some more on top of it. I'll be adding just a little bit of red color into this so that it looks more of street style but this is completely optional if you want please skip it. Now mix everything together and let it cook for the last 5 minutes and your pav bhaji will be ready to be served. And tada! Your bhaji is completely ready. And now you can garnish it with some cheese, some fresh coriander leaves and some butter. We are going to be making this pav bhaji in fondue style. For that, we are going to be taking our pav and cutting them into small square pieces. Now take a pan and heat it up well and add some butter into it and toss it all over so that the butter applies to each and every corner of the pan. Now add the bread pieces inside and toss everything together till it is nice and crispy.